Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Thank you. Yeah, what was the theory we discussed? Uh, that uh, parameterization, right? Yes. So let us start understanding how to take care of uh, parameterization stuff. Yeah? So I think theory part we have discussed, right? How to uh, or how parameterization is going to help. Let us try doing it practically. Yeah? So yeah. So first, let's understand how we need to write uh, uh, this parameter file. I repeat. Let's understand how we can write the parameter file. So let us let's start doing it. So let us say we are trying to write a parameter file with a scope. Open the notepad within the VM. Oh yeah, Dinesh and Priyanka. Uh, delay and social media. Yeah. So please open the notepad within VM. Priyanka, yeah. There's a notepad here. Yes. Yeah, just select it. Yeah, now the syntax I think we talked right. So first is what? Let's say folder name yeah which is extract right dot wf colon workflow name so let's say we have a workflow underscore source could you please uh, increase the could you please increase the font not able to see okay ma'am Yeah, is it fine, man? It's better, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so dot. Yeah. So dot. Let's say we are going to add parameter at uh, session level. So extract the folder. Then, then at folder, let us say wf, which indicates a three different macro for for workflow. Colon is scope. Scope is scope name is what workflow. Then let us say within workflow, we have got ST, which is a session task. Yeah. Then colon session name. So session underscore, let's say source underscore target. Make sure that these names are exactly the same, huh? or else copy paste you can do. Yeah. So copy paste means go to that particular uh, workflow. Let's say this is the one, right? So go to workflows and say edit and yeah copy this name let's say i'm just trying to copy this name yeah let's say copy and uh, paste it here yeah. yes so now we can just go and uh, I'm just trying to paste it so that uh, yes paste it here yeah then anyway, it was same only but I'm just showing to make you people to understand yeah now the next is what uh, let's close this workflow name we got it similarly we should get what uh, session name yeah double click on session can you see here the session name go to properties 
here you can see session log file name right just take out the log and use it or we can also go to some other place yeah so anyway this is also fine yeah which is properties in general also yeah take this name session underscore uh source target we'll just take for the log only yeah so go to notepad and paste it here yeah, yeah. so delete what log part dot that's it so this is what we need to do Done right so far all of us Dinesh, just copy that Oh, you are using sort or some other mapping use the same mapping yeah fine that's fine but the problem is you need to uh, you need to know like what you're doing yeah yeah select this session underscore sort uh dinesh and paste it in notepad yeah dinesh yeah yes uh priyanka man i can also do it yeah typing is not recommended uh because there is a chance to make a mistake but in a case, sure it's fine. I was not able to copy and paste. That was why I had to type. Copy paste was not working. I don't know why. Yes, man. So S is missing. Looks like session underscore source. I think, right? Yeah. Then close this uh, brace. Sorry. So bracket. I think yeah. This is done. Uh, dot target is not there. Uh, is it there? A uh, target? D Dinesh, your session name is dot target, huh? I think only session underscore sort, I think, right? An underscore target. I don't know what name we have given. That's fine. We'll see that. Priyanka, madam, I think session underscore source, no? Yes, you need, I think looks like S is missing. No, I missed I missed S in the workflow. So Okay, that's fine. Is, that is fine, man. Yeah, yeah. Then you are right. You are right, man. That's fine. So that name should match. That's it. Yeah, you are right. Log you can take out uh, the list. Just delete the log one dot log, right? That you can, in, in, yeah, perfect. Yeah, so, so, sir, madam, you are just you are watching, right? Yeah, perfect. Madam. So, now within that, so we have got source target. No, let us add one um, what uh, parameter? Let's say dollar input file name. Let us supply the same name so that we will not get into confusion. Input file name right dollar input file name which is equal to value yeah value i'll put here let's say seq underscore one dot txt we'll go with a valid case first then we'll talk about invalid case yeah so both will be covered yeah? with and without a uh, valid invalid parameter value yeah yeah, supplied a dollar input file name. Dinesh, type it. I capital, make sure the I capital, every word starts with a capital. Uh, I letter. have a question here. I have a question here. The intent of yes, this is being, uh, uh, the intent of having this on one of the file is just to uh, have this path created and put it somewhere. Uh, that's where every time it will have to go through this one. Yes, I madam. Mean, you are right, part. madam. Yeah, okay. you are right. Perfect. Because what happens is, uh, let's say development environment, madam. Your files are in C colon input example. But in uh, mm -hmm. testing environment, let's say D colon input. So the path is different, right? So we go and change it. Yeah. So everything works. We don't need to go and change the workflows or mappings or sessions, whatever. So that's that's the intention of this particular parameterization, madam. Yeah. 
yeah you got right sister yeah yeah i got it yeah i'm just uh, okay. going through every step you are uh, dictating right right yeah fine now so all of you so please apply this so all done na huh? dinesh is done and uh, priyanka is done and yes all done all, yeah fine now let us save it control s save to same location we have got source folder right let us save there only so i'll just put here name as what param.txt yeah i repeat the parameter file is what param.txt right yeah save save it yeah click on save that's it yeah now file part is done so like uh, like this part right this part is done right and scoping all that we discussed next step is what referring this particular file and parameter name two things right i repeat uh, refer the param file and uh, next is what uh, again supplying the parameter right so these things we need to do yeah? right which is a parameter these two things we need to do so let us start understanding how these two things will be done so that we can see the effect of this particular uh, parameter within the parameter file right so let us try doing that yeah so go to this uh, workflow manager all of us uh, let's all go there yeah fine and then next is what uh, go to workflows and then say what edit i repeat go to workflows and then say edit which means we are editing the workflow that's what it means right so it's modifying existing properties go to properties can you see here there is a parameter file name yeah we can supply here that's a c colon slash what our path is what source and file name is what param.txt right so this is what we need to supply here i repeat go to select workflow go to workflows and select edit now select properties tab and supply the parameter file name which is going to be the absolute path and file name don't use relative path here no? then yeah first open that workflow this one yeah perfect nice you have done it go to workflows say edit got no dinesh now go to properties here you need to type that uh, path and file name dinesh c colon slash whatever yeah just type it here yeah perfect so i think she has done it priyanka has done it and uh, yes dele is done dele i think uh, you already know huh? from the beginning you are doing well man so so just now you. that's it okay fine so now yeah it's perfect so now let us uh, yes perfect and all done yeah and then say okay yeah huh? that's it yeah next is what let us say we are doing what uh, uh this particular uh, we need to supply this particular what uh, parameter right within what session can you see here our scope is what to define or to use this parameter at session level so let us supply this parameter name at session level also yeah? so to select this session double click on it i repeat select session double click on it here also 
you can go to properties can you see here there's a parameter file name here also you can supply actually workflow level is not required if you supply here also but i'm just trying to cover two things in one shot so that way to supply parameter file name we all will know right so let us supply this source slash param dot txt no? i repeat uh, source slash param dot txt no? yeah done no? so dinesh uh, dinesh i think looks like he's done right already so fast i think uh, priyank is done all done so i think s for you right you is missing dinesh uh uh delhi so now yeah now let us say okay after that we can uh, next step is what the parameter name we still have not referred right that is still pending no? so far we have done up to this referring parameter file name now supply the parameter like wherever it's required no? so let us go to that particular uh, what uh, yeah let us copy this parameter name from this param file so that we don't need to type no i'm just selecting what dollar input file name and then say control c yeah copy and uh, go to workflow manager and open session properties yeah and select mapping so we need to point this parameter right where uh, wherever uh to our mapping yeah. so let us uh, select this sq underscore sq underscore one yeah. so here oh, what is this yeah can you see here source file name right so this is hard coded earlier now we'll go and copy paste it our parameter that's it yeah. clear right So, so this is what uh, we need to do. Dollar input file name. Yeah, Dinesh, this is already done. Now, so fast, Dinesh. Go to mapping. Oh, yours is, uh, I think, department. Yeah. So what you can do is, in this case, Dinesh, you can use target. Yeah. So select target and uh, properties. Which properties? Yeah, target properties where we can just uh, supply your own uh, target uh, file name. Yeah, can you see here? Just supply. So I'm just showing one more example in uh, the Nest system. He has, done, he has used database to file uh, mapping. In this case, what we can do, right? So let us supply a meaningful name output file name. Right, Dinesh? Yeah output file name i'll just copy and paste this name so that same name we'll use it in uh, what uh, uh, in param file also yeah so now we can just save this and uh, in param file instead of input so in dinesh system we are using what uh, output yeah so that's it yeah so and target file you can supply here name is different right target file name let's say tzt sq underscore tz dot txt let us take this right yeah that is done and priyanka system yes perfect and there is system is perfect yeah let's go back say okay yeah in case of any problem right we'll get error let us see that also so i've just saved it yeah so v3 have done for the source is the source file and Dinesh has done for the target. 
now let us run this workflow yeah. go to workflows and start workflow it failed for me yeah let us see madam yeah. so now yeah, you are very fast right now so now let us uh, look at it so mine is also oh mine is this is the one right so let me start it again yeah yeah it is successful but we have to see the result also right get session lock yeah so let's let's understand like whether we got it or not let me explain completely from my system then i'll come to your system yeah. so yeah now we could able to see two rows have been transferred perfect right so but where this guy refer this particular parameter correct no that's a question right she should replace this particular uh, parameter with a file yeah so that's what also we need to understand to understand that first step is what we need to start with a workflow log you know let's say this is a workflow log workflow underscore src underscore uh, source underscore target open this workflow log yeah so please uh, observe yeah can you see here if you look at this particular log where it is uh, starting where here yeah can you see param file here c colon source param dot txt yeah so that is what has taken as input so workflow started with that particular parameter perfect no and session started and uh, then within a session whatever property that we define which is what parameter dollar input file name use overhead value sq one dot txt for session parameter file name which is what dollar input file name so make sure that this thing should come in workflow log if not we will see you'll get appropriate error also so we need to look at and fix it this indicates what it is referred it's referring what this particular parameter file name and within that we could also able to say the parameter and corresponding value also which means dollar input file name equal to seq underscore one dot txt with that it is started partition and so on then I invoke what the session and within the session this value will be used which is seq one this is a flow right so that is why it worked in my system now let us see why it didn't work in your system so priyanka system right let us yeah first let's go to log yeah let's no, ah, log is also not opening. It is saying some internal ah, error. That. That's good. Let's see that. Let's go with it systematically. All of you, please observe. What we need to do is so, in order to look at this parameter, we need to start from where? Workflow log. Right click and select what? Get workflow log. That's the first thing, right? And see any problem here. So, can you see your param file name? This is a perfect. And next is what uh, can you see? Cannot find the section for uh, session, which means session source target, whatever, right? So this is not there. So which means what your scope is wrong. Remember, now let us go and look at this particular uh, block. Uh, let me look at it extract dot workflow underscore source target and uh, your scope is it right? So yeah, let me see that your uh, workflow, workflow underscore source underscore target. This is perfect. Uh, there is a spelling and, mistake, I think. Uh, you open that notepad. Sir. No, this is fine. No, no, she has given no, no, uh, session that... file name like session yeah, name same only. That's not... oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it's, it's it this was is... supposed to be so. Okay, she has given the same. No, no. What she has done is right. So yeah, one second. Workflow colon. This is also fine. Right, right, right. 
let us save it yeah so now let me run it yeah. let's start log flow Priyanka. yeah it is successful right actually this bracket no it was a next line it is not immediately after this so your session name it's a simple uh, syntax mistake Priyanka, you got no now if you go and look at this particular uh, log right you will not see that particular error message like what you have seen right just now yeah. so if you go and look at it here so we, yeah so can you see error that error here no now it got replaced mm -hmm. input dollar input file name with seq onetxt perfect right yeah now daily system so yours yeah perfect yours is done and yours dinesh are there dinesh system we have used here uh, output file name right so we need to run first let us save this did we refer i think we referred already so we just have to run it let us run the workflow so here he has done it for target so let us see the target can you see there's a problem here workflow parameter file not found out see source param.txt where is it so which means so uh, this file is not available in that location yeah but so it's good that he has to uh done it in different way so let's go to that location c source yeah oh name is different he gave para he's testing this tool see whether it captures these errors or not it is capturing right name yeah we change the name right so perfect now let us go and run it Yeah, see now it is started without any error message yeah. so invocation point is fine now let us look at uh, the rest yeah it is failed yeah session got failed now we need to go and look at the problem here which is uh, any problem in this workflow so here parameter a warning can you see here cannot find section same like whatever priyanka has got right he also has got the same error so we need to specify we need to look at like what he has done so let me look at the scope part we need to look at extract dot wf yeah so first thing is this thing should be macro should be capital and workflow source target session sort and then so he missed uh, what one more macro which is going to be a uh, dot uh, st then scope resolution operator which is colon session sort i hope this session name is right but anyway we'll run it if there is a problem right you'll get errors yeah so let me close this yeah so next uh, we can run this particular workflow yeah so this is how we need to look at uh, like uh, based on the problem right we need to act let us look at now yeah it is still failed let us see why it got failed so this is how we need to trace it from the logs yeah. Yeah, let us see whether this is okay or not yeah still we have problem right cannot find section so which is extract parameter whatever right so we need to look at the names also now whether these names are right or wrong workflow all that yeah so what is the workflow name he gave extract the wf workflow source target but this workflow is different right workflow underscore sort actually name is wrong yeah yeah because he picked up uh, the wrong uh, different workflow right that is why to get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 399 plan and grow your skills immensely. So we need to change accordingly.
because we focused for some other work flow, right? Yeah. Now let us uh, run it again. Go to workflow manager and start it. Yeah. Yeah, still it is failed. Oh my god. Let us see the next. Yeah, again, the section problem only. Session underscore sort. So this names, we need to go and fix it. So we give this expert dot WF. Let us look at one by one. Workflow underscore sort that is fine. Session underscore sort. Yeah. Session underscore sort. That's fine, right? Yeah, I think for doing break time, I'll see that. So session ST. Yeah, I don't see any problem here. Extract is correct. Folder name, I don't know. But that's correct only. Extract dot workflow underscore sort dot session underscore sort. It's perfect. Excellent. Okay, excellent. Yeah, can you see here any name issue here? Workflow underscore sort. Is that name correct? Yes. Dot st session bar session underscore sort. I hope it is right. Copy paste is always better. But yeah, if it doesn't work, I'll do next. The paste only copy. Paste. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Fantastic. Hmm, same thing. Well, I'll have to see complete uh, work front section, but I'll do that uh, during break time. Yeah, so let's not waste time. But anyway, you got the concept, right? Because you picked up other workflow session, right? So I need to look at what is done. Yeah, so this is how we need to fix. Yeah, now let us start moving on to the next topic, which is going to be what you call law. Uh, How to uh, run this particular uh, workflow from command line? Yeah. So far, what we did was executing this particular uh, uh, workflow, right? Where from where we did either from what uh, workflow manager or from what uh, workflow monitor? Yes, sir. These are the two places where we can run the workflow task, whatever that part is done. Now, the next step is what? How can it do that from the command line? No, which means so because so you guys are trying to ask question, right? So, how to do how to call it from third party scheduling tools or whatever, right? To do that, first we need to form a command. Yeah, to form a command, we need to know what is the command line utility uh, that is supported by. This particular Informatica. So, what is the command line that is supported by Informatica? We have got PMCMD. Remember this. Yeah, PMCMD. So, by default, uh, you will have this location of this particular uh, PMCMD will be what? Under server yeah, slash bin. So, we need to go to which means Informatica 95 server bin. Within that, you will see this PMCM. Let us go there and see how one can uh, supply the inputs to this PMCMD 
so that we can run the workflow from the command line. Can you start doing it? Yeah, let's move on. So let us go to, let me close this. So let me go to start and open what? Command prompt. Yeah. I repeat, go to start and open the command prompt. Yeah. So let me just expand this. Properties. Go to properties and select uh, highest uh, size. Say okay. Yeah, you don't need to do it. I need to do it. Yeah. Now, so let us go and copy that particular path where we have uh, this server bin, right? This is PMCMD location. Yeah. So I, we have this server installed on a D drive, right? Expand D drive and expand uh, Informatica 951. Then we have a server. Then we have bin, right? So that's it. This is where you will have PMCMD. Remember, yeah? somewhere you will have it. You can just, uh, yeah, so you can search and get it. Yeah. Can just say type actually. And let me go to the top. Yeah, just say type. Yeah. Now here we have got all binaries, right? Can you see here? PMCMD. Dot ex, right? We have it under this location, right? Now we found this particular command, right? So copy this particular path, which is the Informatica 951 server bin, and uh, go to this command prompt, and then copy paste. Just uh, right click, and then paste it. So you need to separate CD, CD2, right? So that's it. So it didn't move because drive is different. Type D colon. So that's it. It is moved, right? Now we are in what server bin location? We're all here, huh? Dinesh, Priyanka, and uh, Delhi. Yeah, type D colon. Right? It is more, right? So drive different, right? That's what we need to do. Yeah. And that's also fine. Go to D drive and paste it. Perfect. And uh, Oh, looks like Dinesh has problem. Dinesh, are there? Yeah, looks like Dinesh has got some problem. Yeah, fine. Now, the next step is what? Uh, we need to type PMCMD. Right? Enter. It will go to command prompt, like DOS prompt or uh, bash shell or C shell or K shell, whatever, right? For everything, we'll have what? Its own prompts, right? We can also execute commands here, or we can just exit from this particular uh, what PMCMD and start supplying what options directly from command line because that is a main what you call input driven command prompt means we need to supply so that you'll get a response. But it's not the case in our requirement. Our requirement is what we need to form a command that command should be executed from outside. That is our goal. To reach that goal, so what we need to do? PMCMD. So you can just type help or whatever so that uh, we can see the options that we need to use it for PMCMD. Like in uh, Unix, right? We have got a man help or whatever, right? In DOS, we have uh, help. Yeah, that's what I typed help here, where we could able to save multiple options. Yeah, so that we need to use it for this uh, workflow. Like for example, recover workflow, schedule workflow. Can you see here? And then uh, wait workflow, abort workflow here, and we can see stop workflow. Yeah, and then we can see start workflow. Yeah, can you see here? So now we'll use what start workflow because we need to start the workflow, right? 
to perform others also others means stop or whatever okay. so use what start workflow option so let me just clear so that uh, we'll come from the top yeah yeah now pm cmd and type what start work flow yeah now hit enter so after start workflow right option these options are for what after start workflow so we started with the first option which is start workflow for example in linux also right if you type man help uh, sorry man ls or man awk man said no you'll get a complete manual page within that you'll have many sub options now we, here i am trying to talk about one by one so one option is what start workflow within that multiple sub options that we are going to supply now yeah finish uh, yes just uh, type exit madam uh, priyanka you need to come out from this yeah? then you can type pm yeah, space start workflow type start workflow madam yeah. so daily you can also do it yeah pm start workflow yeah perfect enter yeah susha madam you are observing right no so now the next is yeah, what I'm uh, I'm just yeah. so now after start workflow can you see your service and domain and then user and password all that we need to supply you can see right we just have to blindly follow we don't need to remember this so let us say let us start with sv or we can type sv which is a shortcut can you see here we can use either hyphen service or hyphen sv both are same only that's what you can see pipe symbol right pipe indicates or remember then followed by service service means service name we need to supply so what is the service that we use to move the data pc int right power center integration service like we created no pc int so that is the one we need to give yeah so let's we need to get the name from this administrator client or we need to ask administrator so after that supply this particular name which is going to be what you call pc int that's it yeah clear right yeah. now space what is the next thing domain iphone domain can you see here or iphone d whichever you are comfortable you can use it let's say iphone now domain i'll type domain complete so that you'll understand better and then supply the domain name yeah let's start doing one by one yeah iphone d space iphone d yeah we're on the same page where do you get domain name again we need to go to admin console can you see this is a domain name domain underscore sap dev here sap dev is what post name domain underscore is what it's just a prefix that's it yeah now let us supply that so before that uh, yeah if i say enter right so it will just again ask for what option see option it is throwing error right expecting value right so why i just exited just to show error uh, that's one thing and second thing is what host name also host name i said uh, sap dev is a host name right this is a host name domain underscore is what prefix to show that i existed now let me just issue this command again yeah let me continue yes domain right so what is the domain name let us supply domain name d o m a i n underscore sap dev yeah. so this is a domain name what next so user iphone u or iphone user supply so user name yeah. so iphone u username is what administrator yeah. right so administrator then iphone password so you can use iphone p or iphone password which is again administrator right same password we are using yeah. correct no remember you can ask you can ask question here we are typing this password is also with the plain text characters textual characters right but yes. we can also use what encrypted value of password in the sense there is a java encryption utility 
which we can use it to what you call uh, create encrypted password for this particular administrator so that that after encryption right you can just copy that encrypted password here so that's what need to be done yeah but it works for both encrypted value which means what encrypted value and also what plain text data yeah now the next is what uh, uh user security domain which is optional and folder name is also optional because you have got only one folder name if you have multiple folders folder name is also we need to supply then the next step is what uh, workflow can you see here workflow last one so we need to supply workflow name so what is the workflow name workflow workflow underscore source underscore target yeah so this is what uh, need to be supplied yeah so workflow underscore source underscore target yeah so that's it like how one can start supplying the input yeah all done right priyanka delhi and dinesh yes. dinesh looks like some it's perfect very good i hope uh, this workflow is there right yeah i think it is there right yes so and anyway if it is not there you'll get error yeah once you enter hit button right we can monitor this in a uh, workflow monitor see here we go and look at see it is running here you can monitor right it's running here yeah so see it got successful that's all so which means though you run it from the command line we can still monitor it from workflow monitor clear no delhi priyank and the nation shusha yeah now but we executed it but we need to look at the result also right so result anyway same as earlier just to confirm that we can go back to this so uh, c drive and i think we give target no yes so we can look at the timestamp here date modified yeah so today is let us say whatever 17 yes so acq1 tzt right first one you can just open that and look at the data so we got the data right one two three four five six that's it yeah so this is how we can also run this particular what uh, uh workflow from the command line any questions here from anybody Delhi, Priyanka, and uh, the nation. So, so sorry. So I am very weak in remembering names, huh? Uh, so I'm sorry for that. So. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Her name is Shubha. <laughs> Not even Shushma. Her name is Shubha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not because I'm. Right. I, I told you guys, right? I am very weak in remembering names. Yeah. That's so, absolutely please, fine. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. So now we could able to see the uh, result, right? So that's it. Like how uh, one can start uh, running this. We can also see here uh, status also. If you go and look at here, the status, right? Can you see here? This particular workflow uh, started successfully. And disconnecting means what? So it is completed already. So discount coming was it's already integrated service is fired already. It will execute it. So after that, you'll get a completed message, which means what the job got completed, the workflow got completed. So that's it. Now the next question is what how to call this from third party scheduler? Third party scheduler, remember, one way to call is what directly can copy paste this command uh, in uh, uh, third party scheduler. That's one way. Second way is what? We can create a bash script uh, in Unix. Let's say we create a shell script, call that shell script from third party schedulers. That's all. It's very, very simple. Like how to schedule and run it. So now we are doing it on demand execution. So we can also yes. execute uh, based on schedule. Uh -huh. Once again, uh, yes, something, you know, anything related like is job scheduling? Yes. Yes. We have like job scheduling. Yeah, here internally we have it here itself. Like yesterday, I was trying to show it. So, but it's not that good. Well, see, this informatic is not good, not that good for scheduling. But 
So we normally use what third party schedulers. But if you want to schedule yeah. it here also, can you see we have got schedulers? Can you see here? We can go yeah, to yeah. schedulers. Yeah. So we can just go and start configuration of this schedule date and time here, right? So that also it can be done here, but it's not that good. So we don't have as many options as we get it from third party schedulers. That's why it's not recommended to use this scheduler to schedule your jobs or workflows, so, madam. Yeah. yeah okay. What so, is this, a third-party third part schedulers? Uh, what the different third-party schedulers uh, that Informatica uses generally? I mean, uh, so some of the names, we, if you could. Like we have got Control M, we have got Auto yeah, Sys, we have got IBM Tivoli. They are the popular oh. uh, third-party schedulers. Yeah? Control M, Auto Sys, and IBM Tivoli. These are the popular yeah. ones. Yeah. So. And most widely used ones. So I think Predilet is also using. I, I've seen Predilet in, in one of yeah, the. Yeah, Predilet. Yeah. I visited Predilet. So I've seen uh, environment. But anyway, it's fine. Let us start uh, getting into the next topic, which is going to be. If it is clear, then we'll move on to what? Next topic. Yeah. It's clear, right? All clear. Yeah. So one thing I just forgot to tell you guys is what. Uh, if you change the name, let us say here, I'll just put uh, invalid case I didn't cover, right? If I change the name, right? Yeah. Now, if I run it, no, this workflow should be paid. Remember, because this file doesn't exist, right? Let us run it. Yeah, see, it got failed, right? This is expected anyway. So we can see that what you call uh, uh, reason why it got failed. You know? So, so so now I'm trying to show here. So if we if we make any changes, right, the effect of that particular change. So this is invalid case I'm trying to cover here. Yeah, can you see here? This is the one error opening file sq underscore one one dot txt. It's looking for that particular file which is not available. That's it. Yeah. This invalid case, right? So, yeah, now I just reverted back and uh, yeah, so run it again. That's it. Huh? Start workflow. Yeah, it is successful. Perfect. Now that's about uh, this invalid case and also Kamal and also we discussed. So there are many topics. So whatever best uh, we can cover it, I'm trying to cover. So it requires at least 15 to 20 days to cover, uh, I would say even 80 to 90 percent, not all. Yeah. So now the next step is what we talked about some theory, right? Theory is what uh, uh, reusability part somewhere I think I talked about it yes, reusability right so, but we have not done any example so reusability part right which means how to build reusable concept at transformation level second at mapping level third at stage task level fourth at what workflow level yeah so let us see one by one at least one or two will do it so rest you guys can explore First, let us say uh, how to do it at transformation level. Yeah. Right. So let us go to what power center designer. Yeah, we're all here, right? Dinesh, uh, Priyanka, and uh, Delhi and Swisha. Fine. So in order to perform reusable transformation, go to what can you see here? Transformation developer. We have not used it right earlier. Now only we started off using it. Yeah. Click on this transformation developer. It is not. Yeah. It is not activated in mine. Oh really? One second, madam. Now you. 
Okay, okay. One second. Yeah. I was in debugging yeah. mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was in debugging yeah. mode. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Right, right. So, you just stop this debugger. Uh, uh, Dele, go to debugger. Stop. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, now we can see transformation developer. Correct, no? Yeah, perfect. We're all there. So Dinesh looks like he has got some problem. So now transformation part. So let us uh, configure what. Uh, uh, so which is easier, easiest part? Yeah, I think SP is the easiest part. Go to transformation, import stored position. Yeah. So connect. Yes, we can save time with this because look up we already configured. It takes time to configure, right? So let us cut down that time. So SP AGZ and then say OK. So that's it. Let's say this is a reusable transformation where we configured all the properties, which includes even uh, as a connection. Let's say connection also. So let us select this. And select what we have only one connection for Apple, and then say okay. So that's it. Yeah. Like how to configure the connection. Yeah. Then now uh, apply. Say okay. This is a one-time job. Yeah. And then save it. Yeah. Now, once we configure, right, where do we see it? So that we can drag and drop, no? Yes, sir, no? that is the goal of this reusability, no? So can you see here, under transformations, our transformation can be seen. So earlier it was empty, right? Now only we added it. Perfect. Now we can drag and drop. Now let us build, go to mapping designer, yeah? And build a mapping. Go to mapping, create, and supply mapping name as a mapping underscore so trx i'll just put reuse i'm trying to use shortcut names to save time mapping underscore trx transformation for what reusability and then say okay Yeah, now let us so use what same thing like what we did earlier source target the same story so just to confirm we'll complete complete flow like see whether reuse complete reuse works or not so then we got a source then can you see here now i'm going to drag and drop transformation see just drag and drop this transformation because we have already configured right just connect department number yeah and then we can connect uh sell it to a target over so let us select this uh, target file definition and map let's say yeah salary some salary see mapping is saved You can start doing it. Yeah. Just connect some cell to any column. That's perfect. That's it. Perfect delay and uh, session. Finish. And now go to workflow manager and create a workflow for this particular uh, mapping. Put workflows create. Workflow underscore or let's say I'll just put TRX reuse. Yeah. Yeah, now create a task. Supply the session task. Session underscore trx underscore reuse right 
please enroll our general membership for 399 plan to get access of all the parts along with that you can access our other tutorials such as docker ansible jenkins terraform splunk aws azure and various other devops related premium tutorials with our channel membership if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video to get our channel membership click on to the join button select the 399 plan and grow your skills immensely please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching